The new Grand Avenue area of Disney's Hollywood Studios is due to open this coming fall. But what exactly is Grand Avenue? According to Disney's official description, it's inspired by the revitalization and the vibrant culture of present-day downtown Los Angeles, Grand Avenue is where vintage office buildings and warehouses are being converted to exciting new uses. And where will this new area be in the park? In between Star Tours and the Sci-Fi Dine-In. Essentially, this new land will just be a big queue for all the guests that are waiting to get into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge when it opens in 2019. We don't know exactly what the entrance to Star Wars will look like. My guess is maybe a Southern California tunnel. There will be another entrance to Star Wars located next to Toy Story Land, but much like Animal Kingdom has done with Pandora, the second entrance will probably just be used as an exit for the first few months or years. That leaves Grand Avenue for the location for all the hundreds and thousands of guests pouring into Star Wars. So what's going to be in Grand Avenue? A large part of the park was demolished to make way for Star Wars and Toy Story Land, and that includes the Streets of America. A few small facades of Streets of America were left behind. Recently they were repainted to look more like Southern California, and they were just originally facades with no back, but they're being enclosed to appear more like a real building. The highlight of Grand Avenue is going to be the Baseline Tap House. This new bar location will serve craft beers and wines from California, as well as some interesting snacks. You may recognize this as the Writer's Stop, which used to serve coffee and the famous carrot cake cookie. You can still get the carrot cake cookie at other shops around the park, but the Writer's Stop has gotten a new brick facade and some new windows and is being transformed into the Baseline Tap House. Also part of the Grand Avenue area is Muppets Courtyard, but it's being renamed Grand Park. In fact, the transformation from Muppets Courtyard has been going on for over a year now. Pizza Planet has been turned into Pizza Rizzo, which while it is a New York style pizzeria, actually is located in Southern California. In fact, when it opened almost a year ago, you could see the address was Grand Avenue. So Disney's been working on this for a little while now. Recently, Muppet Vision got a new marquee and sign that says Grand Arts Theater on it. Disney claims Muppet Vision isn't going away, at least not anytime soon. It just received the new signage to fit into the area better. Also part of Grand Park is Mama Melrose's Ristorante Italiano. Whether or not they re-theme or tear down the Muppet Studio store has yet to be seen. So other than re-theming some of the existing buildings and adding in a new craft beer location, there's not much new coming to Grand Avenue. There is a rumor though that there might be something coming to this area by the time Star Wars is ready to open. On the Disney Dish podcast, Jim Hill has said that there might be a Muppet show in the windows above Grand Avenue. There's been a Muppet show in the windows near the Hall of Presidents in Liberty Square in Magic Kingdom that has been highly successful. What part will Wall be playing in today's performance? Uh, well, Piggy, this is a story about the Founding Fathers. There's no part for you. No part for moi? Uh -uh. Oh, we'll see about that! <laughs> and since there'll be hundreds of people just waiting to get into Star Wars, this could be a way to keep them entertained. The Muppets could reenact different stories from the Star Wars universe, or it could be an entirely new story altogether. This is still in the early stages and may end up just being a rumor, but it would be something new besides just a retheme of a restaurant in the streets. So, to recap, the brand new Grand Avenue area is just a collection of existing things being rebranded as new, including some leftover streets of America with new paint, the writer stopped serving beer instead of coffee, Muppet Vision with a new sign, and Pizza Planet redressed as Pizza Rizzo. All to bring a more cohesive Los Angeles theme to the area, and there's nothing wrong with that. I, for one, am looking forward to trying that pretzel. That's all for now. Be sure to check out the channel and subscribe for more theme park news and construction updates. And like this video if you'd like to see more news updates. Thanks for watching. See you next time.